If you've ever wondered, is it actually possible to teach and prepare EDB files in classing using iPad? The answer is yes. And today I'm going to show you how. It's absolutely not necessary, but I highly recommend you to get some extra gear in order to turn your iPad into a beast teaching machine. Okay, the first thing I really suggest you to get is a wireless Bluetooth mouse. I got mine for around 20 bucks a couple of years ago, and I think it was a pretty good investment because I use it almost every day. And the most important thing that you need to make sure is this mouth you're gonna buy has a Bluetooth adapter inside of a mouse. So it doesn't come with this external USB adapter that you need to plug it into your computer because apparently iPad doesn't have this USB port. So yeah, just make sure that your mouse has an adapter inside. And another thing that you need to make sure is that you are running iPad OS 13.4 or later. And the whole process actually goes very easy. Turn on your mouse and put it into pairing mode. And generally there should be a pairing button on the underside of the mouse or in the battery compartment. And press it until you see a blinking light that indicates pairing mode is on. Then start the settings app on your iPad, tap Bluetooth and look for the mouse in the list of devices. And when you see it, tap the name of the mouse. In the pop-up window, tap pair and follow any additional instructions if necessary to pair it with the iPad. And once it's paired, this mouse should work automatically whenever it's turned on and in range of the iPad. All right, it's getting better already, but we need one more thing to improve our experience. So the second thing, <laughs> I guess you know what is that, is a Bluetooth keyboard and you can buy any brand, just the same rule goes with the keyboard. You just need to make sure it doesn't have an USB adapter and you can connect it directly to your iPad. The process is just the same. Go to Bluetooth settings and connect it to your iPad. And after you've done that, you can actually see that your iPad looks almost like a laptop. And since that moment, you can use Class Sing almost the same way you could use it on your laptop. Right now, let's dive into an iPad version of Class Sing and see how can we upload images, save and load EDB files, and do some extra stuff. All right, first let's go to study room and it's also known as a blackboard editor in a PC version and try to see what kind of features do we have here. And actually we have all these basic features. So we can draw, we can also type different type of text and also we can delete images and delete objects. And we can also undo and redo our actions and turn on laser pointer if it's needed. But the most important thing is actually if we can do the same things as an PC version and for example, upload images, as I said before, and save and load EDB files. So let's start with some basics. Right now we need to go to Drive and upload images that we are planning to use in our EDB files. So click here, then upload photo. We got some photos here <laughs> and let's try to use this stake. Okay. So you need to wait until it uploads. Maybe it could take from 10 to 15 seconds usually. Okay, once it finished, go back to class scene, study room. And right now we can upload image to our EDB file. So the only thing that we need to do is just to click on this cloud icon and choose my drive, retry. And here in the courseware bank, now we have our image. We choose it and yeah, that's it. So it's just the same thing. Right now, let's try to save this ADB file and try to see what kind of options do we have here. For example, we can go here, it says save 
handwriting, but it's the same as save EDB file. So we got two options here. If you choose photos, uh, it's gonna be saved as PNG file. So later you can use it as an image. But if you wanna save it as an EDB file, you choose save handwriting and choose drive and it's gonna be saved to your drive in class in and the extension is gonna be EDB and that's what actually we needed. So we save it, got it here, Blackboard Editor, press OK. It's saved successfully. So right now we can uh, delete everything here. Yes. And then go back choose our cloud, my drive, we refresh. And yeah, we got our EDB file here. This is the Blackboard editor. Right now we can open it and see that actually everything is here. All right, guys, in the end of this video, I just want to make some sort of a conclusion that you don't necessarily have to use laptop to enjoy all the features that Classin has. And if you combine different types of gear, you can make your iPad even a more convenient device to teach. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this kind of setup and maybe you'd like to add some more stuff into it. Please share all your thoughts with me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing because in the future I'll share more and more helpful and useful information about Classin. And if you haven't tried Classin yet, check my link down below in the description and you will get two trial weeks absolutely for free. So that's it. Have a good day and see you soon.